Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to do um, the read. We're going to retrieve uh, our blog articles from the database. Okay, so, um, but first uh, let me uh, walk you through several key components before we start. So this is the index page. Um, we're going to do something like this. We're going to do just one block of quote that um, output in that output our articles. That is, these articles are from the database. You know, um, the what we want, uh, we want to is to say something that posted by the user and then on the date, All right? So that what we want, um, for the the add a block. Uh, normally, uh, you're gonna have a uh, just. You know this video is not about adding block because I'm already talking about that in my previous uh, video. So, but just so you know that we have an add a block page. You know, we got a title, we got a category, we got content and stuff like that. Important thing is the um, the database. Now you may wondering, know what kind of uh, the block database do I have? So I have a database called tutorial, and I have an, a table called article. Right within this one, um, let's have a look at the structure. I have an ID, uh, which is auto increment. I have user ID, first name, last name. But this one is not not relevant to this. But title, um, content, and date. Title, content, and date are the three things that we uh, we want to uh, look at specifically in this video. Okay, so um, let's first start. So, what I want uh, you to do is that um, in this in my folder I have a um, an index file, right? A header and footer. So the header and footer is to is for me to include, all right? For me to include, so that I, I don't have to type it all the time. So uh, what we need to do is it. Um, PHP include um, here I am just have to include my header Not sure why it is red. Um, for this one, oh yeah, the, we we missing the one. What question mark? Okay, all right. So for this one, I got a footer. Okay, so in a footer, um, header and footer is just some some very basic um, for the header. Um, I add a lot of style here, but you don't have to worry about this. Um, just remember to add the the bootstrap because we're gonna use some bootstrap in this video. Okay, so let's go back to the index. Um, and then we're gonna refresh it, and there's nothing in the index page. So we're gonna walk walk on it from the start. So what we want to do, um. Nothing much. We want to create a div. You want a container. Okay, and we want to create something like add a block. Okay, add a block and I want a class. BDN, BDN, so set this is a um, bootstrap. Okay, let's come back, refresh it. And now we got different ad block here. Next thing is that we're going to have the block post. Um, 
and we have A4 and then article something like this and this one is for the um, output in no, no. Uh, block article I'll put in block article because um, now we're gonna walk on the this is the front end and I'm gonna walk on the walk on the, the back end all right so let's get to the front and then open in PHP so the first thing we want to do is to require the database we need to access our database so as you see here um, the database here to we just have some information and then try and access the database okay i already introduced this in my um, other video so i'm not going to repeat it in this video now so we want to do something like require database okay to to access the database in this it's 12 o'clock so refresh if you want to check if you have successfully connected to the database for me if it is success I'm going to echo like successfully connected to the database with the database name okay let's try it again you know successfully connected to the database tutorial all right so the next thing we want to do is to fetch all the articles. We want to fetch all the articles from the database. I have four articles here, just some random, nothing much, just a title, very short one, just for the illustration purpose. Now, next thing we want to do is to fetch all the article. Right. So I'm going to start by saying query PDO and then we're going to say repair select everything from article which is the title name order but this one you don't have to you know this one is just for order byte um, I want it ordered by date, all right? And in a descending, which is the newest, um, the latest parts will will output it first. And then I want to limit um, to five article, okay? You don't have to for um, what you, what you need to do is to select everything from article, all right? But for the order by date and and is setting a limit is optional all right so um, the next thing we want to execute query and execute okay now we want to save the result so we have to in the article and then query fetch all uh, fetch all that means we're gonna fetch all of the article in the database okay okay uh, hopefully this is, this is all good um, well you can check it at bring R and then you say article then you can check let's try all right so it's speed it work well you can uh, have access all of them so now we want to output these into the article sections below here okay all right so for for that task we're gonna do it uh, because of the the time constraint that I have I cannot I don't want to make the video too long so I will see you in the, in the second video thanks for watching